There are five animals in this story. There is a platypus who is a plumber, a polar bear that is a policeman, a porcupine that is a politician, a prairie dog that is a receptionist, and a, a puma that is a salesperson. They are all in a house and they cannot leave. The platypus, who is a plumber, thought he was dreaming, but it is really happening. He cannot leave the house. The polar bear, who is a policeman, feels scared because he wants to see his family and he can't. The porcupine, who is a greedy politician, just wants to forget that this is happening and go home and eat sour soup with sour cream. The prairie dog, who is a receptionist, wants to get a go home so he can finish watching TV with his wife. The puma, who is a salesperson, wants to follow the new animals he knows now home so he can sell them uh, tools that he has like nuts, paint brushes, paint rollers, pocket knives, and rakes. Nobody thinks that what is happening is very funny. They all feel scared and worried that another animal, like a lion, wants to eat them. The platypus, the polar bear, the porcupine, the prairie dog, and the puma are all in the basement and trying to find something to eat. They find soup that is sour because it is very old, sour cream in the fridge, and on the shelves they found soybeans and soy sauce. They all tried to eat the food, but they could not finish it because it didn't taste very good. The porcupine, who is a greedy politician, is the only animal that finished the sour soup with sour cream with soybeans and soy sauce. The polar bear had some sausages and he shared them with the plumber, the politician, the receptionist, and the salesperson. He is very generous. Then they saw some books in the basement, but they were very old, so they had to be gentle with the books when they were reading. They thought some of the books were really funny. It was easy to finish the books that were funny. The salesperson found a book that talked about what he sells at his job, nuts, paint brushes, paint rollers, pocket knives, and rakes. The politician, who was greedy, was reading a book that was about a greedy rich man who never wanted to give his money away and forget how to be nice. The porcupine loved the book. The plumber was reading a book about a girl who followed another animal to a house that was very old and then could never leave. He then remembered that they are like the little girl and they should leave the house. So they used a pocket knife the salesperson had and cut the door to open it and they then left the house.